This game is not suitable for children or the easily disturbed. It includes deception of horror, depiction of horror, elements, human, animal violence, and death. Abuse, an abusive relationship, disturbing images, loud noises, flashing images, lights, more individual suffering from anxiety, depression, or certain fears, phobias may not have safe experience playing this game. For follow of contact trigger, trigger warning. Go about section in the game main menu. Okay, if you get a scaredy cat, easily don't play this game, guys. Welcome back in, guys. Nori is here, and for today, we are going to play a cat. Do not bring, do not bring this cat at home. Do not take this cat home. So, let's see how this game is, uh, what this game is about, and, uh, Wait, let me see. What this game is about. Let's start it. You are not having a great day as usual. I can save auto history. Oh, okay. Oh, great. It is the first time in a while that you felt like going out. But in the middle of your walk, it starts to rain. Typical, but... Maybe this is just a sign that you should should have stayed at home today. Yeah, you can always try again tomorrow. Wait. You turn to head home when? Wait, what? Meow. Huh? What was that? There are only a few people around on the street. Makes sense due to the increase of missing person around... Uh, the area recently. Well, that and the weather. Uh -huh, okay. What's going on? Should be something around us. But none of them react to the sound at all. Hmm. Curiosity guiding your step. You follow the sound uh, to the entrance of a dark, dingy uh, alleyway. You timidly enter the alley and walk forward. The ground dampened by the rain makes your step sound louder and more confident. Confident than you actually feel. Okay, there, there, uh, there's a cat. Finally, the sound source comes to into view in the cold, dim light of, ally, of the ally. At the end of the ally, it's a big card box. Cardboard box. Is a cat. It is a cat. Huh, cause that should have been obvious. Obvious. It is an interesting looking cat. Its pretty yellow eye shine like gold among the dark sea of its black fur. Hello cat, how are you how are you doing there? Well what the, what made you? Someone okay, someone throw this cat and put it inside he they, they just put it inside, um, what do you call it, inside a box and throw it away. It puts its front paws up on the edge of the box and looks up at you. Okay, are you talking to us now? This is so cute. And it definitely knows it. You've never had much of an opinion one way or another about cats before. If they are all like this one, it's shock. They have not already found a way to rule the world. <laughs> okay, you don't think you'd mind bowing down to a felon, to a felon overloads? Guess I don't think it's good for cats to, uh, to take the world. You look around the ally with a small frown. All leaves. Who leaves cats in a cupboard, in the cardboard boxes, these days anyway? Wouldn't they just jump out and leave the box eventually? No, yeah, probably they will do that. Like the one I, I had. I mean, someone threw a cat near my house a few days ago, and they were small. 
I mean, they were kitten. They didn't even know how to eat or drink. Oh, fortunately, that was a bad fast person. But thankfully, someone took them. It was six cats. The cat doesn't answer you. The cat doesn't answer, obviously, okay? It also doesn't do as you suggest and leave the box. It's just looking at you. Why? As if waiting for you to make the next move. If I, what if I don't take it at home? I'm gonna save. Here. Return. Do not take the cat home. Okay. What was the say? You take a, dece a decisive step back. As cute as the cat is, you really can't afford to be taking in a pet on a whim. Rent's coming up soon and your job doesn't exactly leave you falling in dough. <laughs> you give the cat a sad note. Sorry, good luck out here, okay? Okay, you're gonna be fine, catty. Just take care. You turn around and leave the cat and the ally, ally behind. Rain's picking up. Okay, you can hear the cat meowing at us from behind. Time to head home. Ending. Yeah. The uh, fool. A what? A fool. Okay. I did not know that. A start. Where is my load? I should have been able to have a load. I can't. Okay, this is the loading, and unfortunately, we cannot have it. Main menu. Yes. There is no loading. Really? This is bad. Preference. What about for preference? Credit hub. Um. Uh. Okay, start, start. Q save. Quick save completed. Loading will lose. Are you want to do? Do you want to do this? Uh, really? Main menu. Start. Okay, I can't. I don't. I don't think there is a loading button here. But then, not having a great day as usual. Skip this. Okay, we can at least you can skip it. Take the cat home. Okay, well, if he took you home, man. You know what? <laughs> you reach into the box and pick up the cat, and pick the cat up, holding it out in front of you. Why not? Okay, meow, you're a cutie guy. Cutie pie. You're all alone and well, mm, I'm kind of in the same boat myself, so... You bring the cat close, you didn't realize it was shivering until just then. But it slowly breathes easier as it passes into your chest. Why not stick together, right? At least for a little while. Okay, okay. He's happy. You think a little while. Well, probably be more like a day. You'll be responsible and take it to a shelter tomorrow. But uh, for now, let's get you out of the rain, okay? Okay, he, he, he's talking to us. He understands. I think the cats understand what you're saying. You stop by a small local pet store for some cat food, then head back home. You live in a modest apartment. Hmm. Fortunately, you cannot see it. One bedroom, one bathroom. One, you're living alone in it. Okay, of course you're gonna live alone. We don't have anyone with us. So it's feel weird having another living being inside it after so long. Uh -huh. Even if it's just a cat. After locking the front door and placing the cat on the floor, you watch for a moment as it, as it curio, cru, 
curiously exploring the new environment. Explores the new environment. Curiosity, okay. It's curious about the place, our place. Leaving the fa leaving the fallen to its own service, uh, device, to its own device. You set about making the ba the making the both of you some dinner. To you take out the can of cat food and open it with the tab on top. Hmm. You put some cat food on a saucer and click your tongue to call the cat over to you. Uh, I guess the cat love love these. I'm gonna love the food. It pops up at your beckoning and rushes over. It looks at the plate of food. What? You don't wanna eat it? And completely ignores it. You what? Not hungry? I guess. You try not to let it annoy you. The cat doesn't understand this concept of money to appreciate that you spent your hard earned cash on it. It is just a cat after all. You will just leave it here. If you get hungry later, okay? Oh, okay, he will, he will just leave it there. The cat rubs its body against your legs with a pure. You smile that enough to of a thanks for you. It'll follow you into the kitchen as you start on your own dinner. You decide that you have enough ingredients for a sandwich. Bread, toast, mayo and mustard spread, turkey and cheese and lotus, lettuce and perfectly placed. Tomato slice. Wait, oh. You wince as you cut your finger on the knife while slicing tomato. Oh, okay. Stupid. <laughs> you feel a little embarrassed for such a blunder and say, tossing the knife onto the cutting board. You feel a little embarrassed. Okay, okay. You are about to head to the bathroom for a bandage when the cat hops up onto the counter. It sniffs at the knife and meows almost pointedly at you. Uh-huh. Hey, don't worry, I'm all right. It was just an... What? You watch the cat as... You watch as the cat... Starts to... You what? Lick little. Lick lightly, but enthusiastically at the blood on the... Really? At your blood? You are so shocked. That by the time you came to your senses, the knife has been completely licked clean. Okay, that's weird. The cat sits back, staring at you. You feel a little uneasy. Sure, cats are meat-eating predators, but that was a little weird, right? Yeah, it was weird for a cat to drink blood. I mean, to lick blood. Blood. Sure, you are not a cat expert, but that was definitely not something an ordinary cat would do. Okay, there is something weird with that cat. Something going on, right? Wait, what? Okay, what? Well, regardless, you are not about to abandon a cat in a need while it's still raining outside. Not after all your efforts. You are going to take it to the shelter tomorrow anyway. What's one night of awkwardness? We do not. It's just a cat. The rest of the evening, unfortunately, goes downhill from there. Even after covering up your finger, cut with a bandage, the cat keeps trying to lick at the wound while you're eating your sandwich, while you're cleaning up the kitchen, while you're trying to watch the TV. You gently push it away every time, but you are starting to get worried at the strange behavior. What if it's got a taste? For blood and thinks you are food now. You are not sure what you will do if it starts to get more aggressive. Yeah, that's that's dangerous. You keep thinking about the cat food sitting in the corner, untouched. What? What now, Katty? Oh, okay. Oh, come on, enough, Elodie. You shove it away a little more, forcefully this time, out of annoyance. 
you feel bad immediately, but before you can do anything, the cat meows sharply at you and dashes off around the corner and into the hall. You say deeply, at this point you are just worried that it's going to take a bite out of you in your sleep. Maybe a vet will have an idea on how to calm it down. You can only hope you don't have money. You don't have many other options left other than tossing the cat out in the rain. After finding the number of a local vet, you pick up... What? What? The light just went out. Great, just great. Rain must have knocked out the power. You check your car phone only to find that it is out of batteries. Oh, great. Our phone is out of batteries. The outing had been so poor of the moment that it had no doubt messed with your usual routine. Okay. What are we gonna do here now? You grab a flashlight and turn it on. Where is the cat? It's quiet. It's too quiet. Did the rain stop? But then, why did the power go out? Oh, unfortunate. You look outside. The sky is pitch black. What time is it? You turn to check the clock. <laughs> the cat sits on top of your digital clock, staring at you. Oh, okay, this cat. Thinking now, you realize that the clock shouldn't be working at all with the power outage, but uh, the numbers are light up. That's weird. And going completely high wire. The cat stares at you. It's completely still. You'd think it was a statue if you didn't know any better. It's not giving off any indicate that it's alive. Indication that's alive. It's not blinking. It's not even breathing. But its eyes. Something weird. This isn't normal. You're afraid. You want to run, but you're afraid of letting the cat out of your sight. You consider tossing the cat out after all. But, soon as the, the thought enters your head, you feel a sharp or to vomit. Frack those eyes. Its eyes hold you still. Even with your flashlight trained on it, its pupil are large, brown. <gasps> Don't. The flashlight flickers. Okay. This is bad. This is bad. And the cat is gone. Fear immediately grips your mind. The silence punctuated with the rapid pumping of blood in your heart. It's overwritten as your ears slowly start to pick up the sound of a stat static all around you. How is the clock working with no power? You don't know why such a question matters at the moment, but you feel as if having the answer will make sense out of everything that's happening. That order will be restored, but no answers comes to mind. You back away from the clock and feel as if the air itself coils lightly, tightly and abruptly in response. Like a predator, prepared to punk, but waiting, waiting for your next move. But you are afraid to move. You are afraid to even take a breath. Okay, this is... But you can't stay still forever, right? We have to move, we have to get out of, this, of the house. Whatever is watching you, you can already feel it. Impatience. It's too eager. You don't know how you know this. But you can sense it as clearly as if it has whispered. <gasps> okay, I don't like this. Right into your ear. Right into your soul. Okay, this is bad. It won't let you wait it out. Not that you could even. If it did, you can't stay here. You have to run. With those thoughts, a sudden primal instinct awakens within you. Making you tear yourself 
into a hasty boss of movement, of action, but you are still weak from the fierce grip on your mind. Your legs tangle together under you in your hast and you fall to the ground. <laughs> uh oh. A sharp pain explodes in the center of your foot. At first, you think you've broken your ankle, but something warm and wet tickles down the length of your foot, pulling underneath it. You hear the sound of metal scraping on tiles after skidding across the floor as if it had been kicked. Uh oh. Winded from your fall, you look up in a dust and see the object glinting in a strange light coming from outside. The light pouring in from your now open front door. Thoughts of how, when, who, what, in regard of your inexplicably unex open door screech to a halt. As as your brain finally identifies the metallic object you've been staring at. Okay, this is bad. It's your kitchen knife, and still tainted red from your earlier blunder. But that's not right. Wasn't it completely licked clean by the... Uh-oh. You, you gulp dryly at the pain in your foot. You barely have... Time to wonder how the knife ended up on your living room floor to be stepped on. Instead of resting on your cutting board in the kitchen where you you left it. <gasps> when you spy something in the darkness just beyond the knife. Okay, It spies right back at you. Kitty! A pair of glowing golden eyes came forward as the cat emerged from the shadows into the light. From your doorway. It, pa it pads slightly over to the knife as if skipping in the light. Uh oh. Ah. Uh -oh. It bends down to lap at the blood dripping from the outside. Uh, okay, this is bad. Your sense slowly begin to overwhelm you. The chill of the air as it starts to suffocate you under its weight. The sound of your shaky breath, discordant against the static, static now facing your skull. The dryness on your tongue spreading to your throat. This is bad. The, incom the incomprehensible side of the stray you taking in, licking away at your kitchen knife, once again completely clean. The scene of blood from the fresh wound of your foot. This cat? Blood? Golden eyes light up to you as in response to your sudden realization. Blood. You are hot. Your food is bleeding. You are bleeding. You are bleeding. The cat barely moves. Shoulders twitching as if it just considering the act of punking forward. Uh oh, but you are already on your feet and out the door. You run a rather limp down to empty street. The sky is black and bleeding red. But there is a strange light emitting from nowhere that casts everything else in light. The houses, the trees, the road, even you, everything. Expect your blood. You can just... You can just barely glimpse the blood imprints your injured foot leaves in your way in your wake with every impact it makes with the ground. Okay, this is bad. It hurts and everything is white, guys. The, but the sky is red. Why? It hurts. But you can't stop. You don't stop. Not when the shadow grow around you. Not when you feel the gas of eyes all over you. No, okay. Not when the road ahead of you is darkened by a long shadow of something behind you. 
Even then, you don't stop running because... Okay. If that's the cat right there ahead of you, then... Oh, oh. What's in the world is behind you? I'm gonna save. I can see the loading, but there is no loading option here. Weird. I'm gonna look behind. What? Huh? Interesting. How oh, very, very interesting. Ending. Oh. It begins. What? Really? Okay, now we can load. Seriously, this game. How many endings is there? Ending zero completed. What the frick? 40 ending? You kidding me? 40 ending? Continue. You are walking right, of course. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I can load. Huh? Back, 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 back. What is that? I'm gonna go back. I don't know what to... Uh, let's just see. Um, okay. You are walking. Right, of course. I have to go back. I didn't know what was that. It is the first time in a while that you felt like going out. Uh -huh. And you are actually glad that you did. Okay, the weather is, is absolutely perfect today. That's a good sign, right? It is good. Maybe your luck is finally starting to turn around. Uh -huh. I'm not sure about that, but we'll see. You tentatively allow yourself to feel excited for the possibilities of where you could go or what you could do. Me, maybe even who you could meet. Oh, you are so deep in thought that you are, you almost miss it. Oh, come on, this cat again. Oh, what was that? Curiosity guiding your steps, you follow the sound of the entrance to the entrance of a lonely alleyway. The sunlight only just managed to reach down the be in between the tall building on the uh, on either side, you timidly enter the alley and walk forward. The loose gravel and scattered debris on the ground softening your step. Okay, this is the meow again. The, the bloody meow. Finally, the sound source comes into view in the warm, almost eth ethereal light of the alley. And at the end of the alley, the big cardboard box, and there is the cat. This cat is a cat. Huh, because that should have been obvious. Uh-huh. It is an interesting looking cat. It's pretty yellow eye shine, like gold among the dark sea of its black fur. It pulls... It puts its front paws on the edge. Okay, I know this, I know this. Uh-huh. And you want us to take it to the home. So, so cute. You look so... Familiar. Okay, this is... I guess this is after we die. <laughs> right? Uh-huh. Let me wait. I'm gonna do something with the music here. Yeah. That should be enough return. Uh -huh. Then again, it's a cat. Not many different ways to, for a standard black cat to look after all. This one sure is a cutie though. It is cutie. Just look. It's not glaring at, glaring at you or hissing at you for getting this close like other stray cats have in the past. It's just sitting there patiently, waiting for you to do something. I'm not planning to take you home. Sadly, as cute as a cat is, you will never take this thing home with you. <laughs> you. You can't just take it home with you. 
You are a responsible adult. Bye bye, kitty. You, you are with rent and both to pay for, not to mention you need to buy a food to survive too. There is no way you could care for a cat long term, right? You can barely afford this little outing on your day off. Uh -huh. What to do? I should save. <laughs> come on, oh, come on. Play with God on second thoughts. What this? You are not ready. I'm not ready? Okay. And second thoughts. What if I leave the cat? You don't think it is a good idea to get the cat's hopes up for having someone look after it if you are not willing to commit. What if it gets attached and somehow it tracks you down back to your home? It, sorry, see you around, I guess. You stand up, the cat watching your every move. You make it halfway out of the alley when the cat meows almost pitifully at you. Really? You're gonna give up that? And then you're gonna eat us? You kitty pie. <laughs> Ah, let me save. Mm, nah, bye bye. Nope, nope. You need to nip this in the butt and get it, get on with your day. It is best for both of you. You leave the alley and continue on your way. Wait, what was I doing? In all the excitement of dealing with your fury, the the lima. You've forgotten that you still hadn't decided on what you were going to do going to do on your day off. Watch a movie, watch carnival, go to dog park. Hmm Let me save. God, what if I went to carnival? I would do that. I would love you gonna do that. If I was a if I had a free day. You spend the day at the carnival. Paris wheel, roller coaster, pharaoh, boot, rides you've been on before, hopes, coin toes, balloon darts, games you've played before, funnel cake, popcorn, cotton candy, cotton candy, food you've eaten before, all things you've enjoyed before. You are surrounded by groups of people all having fun together. Laughing, playing, eating, taking pictures, making memories. What a lovely day. And then there's you. The sun hasn't started to set yet, still high in the sky, but it will soon. You start to wonder if maybe you should just go home for the day. When you stop in your tracks, you see something new. An attraction you've never seen before. A maze of... Funhouse mirror. It sounds kind of lame, honestly. There isn't even a line to get in. Okay, that's weird. Why? But then, what else there to do? Uh, save it. Enter the maze. Do something else. What if I enter the maze? You enter the maze. A few rooms in, and you notice that the mirrors aren't all weird. Some just show you looking bad at yourself. A little bored, a little tired, and so very, very. Uh, what is this? Maybe this was a mistake. Why did you think going into a maze of mirrors was a good idea, even if it was something a new to experience? I can't do this today. You turn around to head back the way you came. <gasps> Only to bump into a mirror. What? Great. Oh, what the? Where is the exit? You try again, only to find another mirror blocking your way. By the time you are all turned around, you realize that the way you came is in. It's completely gone. What the fuck? This is bad. Okay, don't panic. I just have to keep going forward, right? 
you step through the one opening the only opening you can find and nearly strip over something on the ground you bend down and pick it up what is this doing what is doing here in your hand rests a worn looking flashlight curious you flick it on nothing huh? the light does okay I know it. The moment I enter the maze, the cat can follow me there. Grab the lights. Did the power go out or did the attraction operator forgot you were in here? How long have you been in here, actually? You pull out your phone to check the time or maybe call the police. Your phone is dead. Oh, good. Cry it. Cry it. This is good for us to die. You grab the flashlight in your hand. The light is emit, Ariel. Was dim enough for you to know we're probably not that much juice left. Best to reserve it for a worst case scenario and feel your way out. No, oh, yeah, yeah, you can do this. You take a calming breath. Well, forward we go. Hello, darling adventurer. What the frick? Who's this? Who said that? Welcome to the metal maze. Oh, damn it. Put on. No, no, I don't even know you. No, but I have some questions. Would you like to know how to navigate the maze? Um. Yes, I need help. Once again, you are in a bit... In a bit jam, but don't worry. You are in good hands, or rather, good pa- Oh my god, see these little cuties here. They are, they will be doing their best to guide you through the maze. On the generous, when you enter a room, the emergency light will flash, letting you see the path before, before you for a second, and also what lies beyond them. Well. Whenever you see these kind kittens, just go where they are and you'll reach the next room. Unfortunately, really, they're not the only things in here. It is highly suggested that you refrain from following any of our others' guests. They can be sneaky or distracting, but they are always hostile. So please take caution when advancing to the next room. Of course, this wouldn't be much of a mirror maze without mirrors. Can they hurt you? They are just mirrors, Sally. <sighs> they don't do anything at all. And you can't do anything to them either. They are just an obstacle you can't pass through. Uh, go left. Go center. Go right. The choice is yours. Though... You find a room with no helpful kitties inside, and all the passes lead to a mirror or something else. Okay, this is bad. It's recommended that you stay put, and maybe it will work itself out. Now for your navigation tools. The flashlight you found doesn't have much juice left, so only. It only let you get a quick extra peek at your surrounding about five times, so try not to use all of it at all of it at once. Seriously, you can keep track of your progress through the room up to the left, and you lives up, and your lives up to the right. We why only three lives, you ask? Because you are soft and squishy, really. It wouldn't take much to damage you beyond repair. This is bad. This I don't like this. this is bad. And besides, you are human. And humans usually only have the one life. Yes. And yet here, you get three. This is bad. Don't you think you ought to show a little more? Grat gratitude 
Okay, you bastard. You locked me here and now you want me to you want me dead. That's what you want. But that's the end of your tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful. Seriously, are you ready to play? <sighs> this game is too hard. This game way too easy. <laughs> Can you tell me about the maze again? Let me save. How about I annoy him? As you wish. Oh, skip it. Once again, welcome to the mirror maze. Ah, oh, okay, okay. You caught it. What would you like to know? This game is way too easy. <laughs> is that so? There. All done. Wait, what did you do? You'll see. What did you do? What would you like to know? What did he do? Okay. Three, two, one. Go. <gasps> Left. Okay. Next room. Um. Right. Clang. A mirror? I can't go this way. Center. Seriously? Left. Next room. Oh my god. Right. A mirror. Center. Next room. Right. Oh my god. Right. Uh, left. Oh my god. Center. Stay. Oh! Left. Damn it. Right. Oh my god. Stay. What? What? Suddenly. The lights turn on. Your eyes born from the sudden brightness. As your vision adjusts, you see that you are completely surrounded by mirror. Oh my god. The reflection. Are. Rooted school in a unique way. Looks nothing like you. This is bad. But they do look. Hunk. Oh no, you back up. You don't know where to go. Was there even a way out to begin with? You bump back into a mirror. Oh my god. And feel a hand firmly grip your shoulder. Uh oh, jump, freak, there is a sharp pain in your other shoulder. Damn it, you rip away looking back to see some thing leaning out of the mirror. Its face has no features, save for a large gaping mouth, stained in your blood. Looking around in a panic, you think that the mirrors feel closer than before. The past you've come in from is long gone. You can swear the mirrors were getting closer and closer and closer. Your horrifying, your hor your horrifying reflection looking hungrier and hungrier and hung oh, We are dead. Ending duty. You found the maze. <sighs> there is forty ending to this. The frick. As you can see guys, we got this ending, the second ending, I mean 20 ending. Better luck next time. You suck man. 
with loads. Oh, oh, Div, um, yeah, yeah, I did this. Oh, I, your flash out will give you seven second chances now. And the love flash will last. Okay. Is that better? I guess, I guess so. Uh huh, okay, okay. Right. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, no, not that way. Um, 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 um. Right, right. Okay, next room. Okay, I'm um, uh, right. Oi! No! No, I wasn't planning for that left. Not planning to die. Okay, stay. Just wait. I think something changed. Okay, um, left. There's no timer, I guess. Good. Okay. If you were, uh, if we say it's too easy, there will be a timer, and if you say it's too hard, yeah, there there won't be any timer. Stay. Okay. Okay. You only have one life now. We just change. Center. Yeah. Center. Uh, right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right again. Next room, right again. Okay, next room. That was right. I don't know what are those big creatures in there. Okay, center. Center again. Uh huh. Stay. Yeah, just wait. At least nothing has changed. Uh, left. Center. Uh-huh, uh-huh, um, right, I'm not planning to die again, center, left, center, center, damn it, left, left, one way, one way, stay, stay, we need to stay. Just wait, just wait. And something has just changed. What changed? What has changed? <gasps> you see it. The exit. <sighs> you run forward, but as you do, the scenario shifts. <laughs> You're kidding me? Just slightly at first. What the fuck? But you are running too fast to stop yourself from colliding into the glass. What now? Except, don't quite go into the glass. You don't exactly collide with it either. You simply pass through it. And on the other side, you see endless white void and... Kidding me? Those are people? Yourself? Dozens of you. Hundreds of you wandering around. Aimless. Faceless. Oh, okay, this is bad. And empty. So empty and listless. They don't even acknowledge your presence. What is this? What did we what we ran into now? You try to turn back. But the glass doesn't give. Pass the glass. A familiar black cat walks up and looks at you. Really, kitty? You think it meows at you. But you can't make out the sound. It tilts its head, then walks away. The glass goes dark. Oh, unfortunate. Then you watch helplessly as it disappears completely. You trap. With only yourself as a company. Ending 19. You beat the maze. I beat the maze, but unfortunately I don't know the way out of the maze. Seriously? <sighs> Where is it? We, we beat the maze. Wow. 
Oh, it loads. Let's load. Um, um, um. This game is too hard. Shit, this game is way easier. Receipt setting. Can you let me go? Your request to forfeit is denied. Really? Let me out of here. Scheme is not allowed in the maze. Uh, if I done something. Not planning to enter the maze. Do something else. There has got to be better way to spend your day off than wandering around starting. Staring at weird mirrors. Now what? Oh, okay. Go watch a movie. Let's go and watch a movie. It's been a while since a film came out that looked interesting enough for you to drag yourself to a movie, sister. Peter. But there is a showing of one such a film at the old theater. The movie was a little too niche to be picked up by the new cinema that opened right across the street. That's okay though, you are not exactly a fan of the crowds and nothing ruins the experience of watching a new movie for you more than a noisy audience. Go to the old theater, go to, uh, let me say it fast. Return. On second thoughts, okay, that's gonna be... How about old theater? You eagerly buy your ticket from the kind old man in the booth and head inside. It's barren of any traces of other people and the decor looks like it hasn't changed since the 80s, 80s, maybe even the 70s. But it is what you were counting on. You consider buying some popcorn, but can't help but, but be concerned that everything has the Constitution stand might be expired. You move on and walk through the house, finally locating the theater design on your ticket stab. As expected, the theater your movie will be played will be playing in is completely empty. Perfect. You pick a spot right in the middle, even counting the seats and taking into consideration the gap of the staircase. As you settle in, the dim lights fade away, leaving the room pitch black for a few seconds. Before the screen flickers on, no commercial or trailers pop up, the movie just begun. Begin. Please, you shrug and let yourself get immersed in the opening scene. But just as you are getting to the premise, the door opens behind you, momentarily casting light into the room and running the autumn fair. You hold in a frustrated say. It's a public establishment after all. The place can't exactly afford to stay open if you are only a customer. You try to refocus on the movie but you send the new presence slowly shifting around the theater. Before heading in your general direction. What is it? Is it the meow? Who is this? You, the gap in utter disbelief. Disbelief as the stranger shuffles down the ice of only to sit right in front of you. There's no one else here and plenty of places to sit. The stranger is also unusual. Tall. Oh, I don't like this. Even with the studium like arrangement. Uh, of the seats being on a somewhat step insling, steep insling. They are completely blocking your view. The safe. Move to another spot. Confront the stranger. Leave the theater. Uh, move to another spot. You don't want to risk escalating the situation further. This whole thing is already making you uneasy. Why would they choose to sit right in front of you? Surely they know you wouldn't be able to see past them. Shaking your head with a passive aggressive scoff in the stranger direction, you reluctantly pick another less perfect seat in the theater. 
But you sat as you settle down, you see the strange person get up, only to once again sit down in the seat directly in front of you. What's wrong with this dude? What are you planning to do, man? Are you gonna try kill us again? Are you that kitty cat transformed into another monster? You look around somewhat hopeless, helpless as if waiting for someone to slightly agree with you about how odd all this is, or to at least inform you that it is all an elaborate prank, but uh, there is no one else here with you. That's how you've always left it, but you can't help but think that maybe, maybe would be nice. Maybe it would be nice to have someone else here if it meant not being alone with this weird jerk. Jer jer jerk. Okay, okay. Confront the stranger. I hate confrontation. You can already feel your palms starting to sweat at the idea of it. Your teeth are closing up and your body starting to shake. You are always have been of a fighter than a fighter. Fighter, okay. Okay, but you paid for this ticket. You've wanted to watch this movie for ages. Okay, let me drink. And now this total stranger has ruined the entire experience for you. You're all alone in this theater. There is no one who will help you if something goes wrong. But you're angry enough that you ignore the signs of your body begging you to put as much distance as you can between your yourself and, the, and this stranger. You stand up even standing and higher up on the insulin. The stranger is still at e at least a head taller than you. This is bad. The movie continues to play in the background, but you feel as if it a hush immediately falls heavily over the theater at your movement. As if you can sense the stranger anticipating what you plan to do next. You square your shoulders and force a little bass into your voice. Hey! The effort makes your words come out more harshly than you intended, like a sudden and vicious bark. But you figure they deserve it anyway. You are being a real jerk. You know that? Just what are you playing at, huh? Are you trying to piss me off? He doesn't even talking. The sound that follows your word is deafening. As much, so much so that you glance at the screen only to find that the movie has paused. Okay, that's weird. Your attention is ripped back to the stranger in front of you as they shift slightly. Like a small animal trying desperately, trying desperately to anticipate the moves of a predator. You don't move an inch. You don't look away. You don't dare to blink. Instead, your eyes widen at the person's head tones. Uh oh, then tones some more. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. <gasps> Then drones more beyond what should be possible. Neck bones cracking to face you directly. Uh oh, ah, oh. you can't move. Wide glowing eyes resting above a wider grinning mouth gaze down at you. The stranger opens their mouth and that comes out. It's something impossible to comprehend. Yeah. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. What the frick? The voice is endlessly deep and creaks like a whitey door. Whitey door. For, for budding and only melodic alluring. But it is also snaps you out of your terrified trance, and before you know it, you are already out the door. Bye bye, man. You run through the halls of the empty theater, heading for the exit. 
You feel something watching you from behind, but you are too afraid to look. The exit now is slightly is now inside. You sprint forward and burst through the doors. You look around frantically and spot the crowd cinema across the street. People, that's what you need, safety in numbers and all that. Without thinking, you rush into the street when a sinking sensation crawls down your spine, compelling you to look behind you. I'm gonna save. Let's save. Return. Go to the new cinema. Don't look behind. If what if I looked behind? Despite your resistance, you feel your head turning to look back of its own accord. While in the middle of the street, oh, this dude, you catch a glimpse of a grotesque looking person standing behind the glass doors of the old theater, watching you intensely, cradling something there. Oh, that's something familiar. It is a cat, but you what? Oh my god! Oh, we are dead. A glimpse is all you got. You get as a truck speeds forward and crashes into your body. Frag. We died. You you are killed on impact. Your body splattered across the rear the road and crashed further under the heavy tire. Ending scene. Poor screening arrangements. Damn it. Where is it? There you go. Poor screening arrangement, you say. Let's load. Um, go to the new cinema. Rushing to the to even risk a peek over your shoulder, you rush across the street to the new cinema theater. You didn't realize that. It felt like you've been surrounded by some kind of a dreadful pressure. Until it very suddenly vanishes, leaving you feeling more than a little shaken. But at least breathing comes easier. You think it's within your best interest to repress everything that just happened. Yeah. Deciding to wait for the movie you've been anticipating to be available on DVD or streaming. You join the long line outside the new cinema. By the time you've reached the ticket booth, you just want to get inside. So you pick a movie at random and take your ticket from the tired looking teenager manning the booth. The decor is check and sleep and the inside is bustling with people. It is not what you usually into. But it is kind of nice not being alone. Yeah, it is nice not being alone with that stranger. Even if you feel a little lonely watching from family and groups of friends laughing among themselves, you'd get some popcorns, but the lines at the concession stands are long and the prices are criminal anyway. You go through the house and follow the signs the theater destinated on your ticket before heading inside. But don't tell me you're gonna be alone. You stay at the side of absolutely crowded theater. You head toward a seat only to be told by the person next to it that it is being saved for someone. This happens a few more times before you finally manage to get yourself see see into a seat annoyingly of center to the screen but the screen is at least visible if not a little too close so you grit your teeth and bear it the lights fade out but the, but the chat the chatter doesn't the rest of the audience seems content to talk they're all like commercial even though, even through the trailers, you figure the shatters, the shatters will stop when the movie actually begins. 
but it doesn't get even slightly quieter as the opening scene starts to play out. You say out loud, not thinking anyone would hear you anyway. This is why you avoid movie theaters like the Playgo. What now? This is why you avoid movie theaters like the Playgo. What? Suddenly the screen change, showing the face of a black cat. This is bad. A familiar black cat. Confused mamas pass the room, but then the cat on the screen meows. Okay, this is bad. The sound is strange and not all like any cat's should sound. Haunting, almost melodic and layered, as if made of multiple voices, voices of different creatures. Creatures that would probably never say. Oh, that's bad. You sit on confusing, wondering why you haven't already gotten up and left to come playing to the cinema staff. But then you hear it. The scattered and disowned at first. But among the crowd, people start to chant, to chant along with the cat on the screen. Hey, what the frick? This is bad. Oh. Seriously, man. Soon, the entire room is chanting in perfect and Neeson, everyone, everyone staring intently at the cat on the screen. You are feeling strangely drawn to screen to the screen yourself, but the compulsion, compulsion to stare ba blankly like the others isn't that strong for now. Also, you start to notice out the corner of your eyes that some of the people in your immediate Recently, Ara uh, are looking at you. No, they all tried staring hard into you, even as they continue chanting. They don't miss a beat as they slowly begin to frown at you in blunt and disapproval. Their cries deepen as time goes on, as if they are getting. Impatience. 